As a train enters the loadout, each wagon is identified by a radio frequency tag reader. The wagons are each equipped with an RFID tag so that its unique information, wagon identification number, tear or empty weight, and gross allowable weight can be secured. Additionally, each wagon's empty weight can be determined with a railroad track scale prior to the loadout. When the locomotive pulls empty wagons into the loadout, the system surge bin, typically sized from 400 tons and larger, is ready to begin the loading process. With the information received from the RFID system and or the railroad scale, a batch of material is prepared in the way bin specifically for that first wagon to be loaded. As the wagon is pulled beneath the loading chute, the system discharges this batch of product into the wagon as it moves underneath. Once the batch is emptied from the way bin and the moving wagon has received the entire batch through a flood loading process, another batch process is initiated from the surge bin into the way bin. The target weight of this batch, calculated by the system, is the difference between its gross allowable weight and the tear weight for that specific wagon. This batch is quickly and accurately prepared through the use of high-speed hydraulically operated charging gates and is ready to load into the next wagon by the time it is moved into position under the loading chute. Once that wagon is in position, the batch is released through a way bin discharge gate and again flood loaded into the wagon. This process continues for each wagon of the entire train so that each wagon is accurately loaded to its maximum allowable gross weight. During the entire process of loading the train, material flows to the loadout system on a feed conveyor system as the train moves at a consistent rate under the loadout.